Hello everyone, Jamie here, hope you are doing okay. So with this video I'm going to try and show you how to make your Fitbit into more of a smartwatch. What I mean by that is that you'll be able to receive all your notifications from all your different apps. At the moment, if you select text messages, you can't receive WhatsApp messages. But with this method, you'll be able to receive all of them. Okay, so we're going to go to the Play Store. I've already got it open there, but I typed in Fitbit. And I'll go down to Fitbit notifications and uh, install it. We're going to go on the app. So I'm going to click on it and it says get started. So let's follow the instructions. Uh, enable notification uh, access and it says that you need to have this plus the official Fitbit app selected so I'm just gonna allow that and Fitbit okay and I'm just gonna press the back button now cool right we're gonna go on the next arrow so I'm gonna press that set up notifications in Fitbit so uh, as you can see it's compatible with all these devices here so make sure that you have a compatible Fitbit select call okay I know what to do next so yeah I'm gonna click open Fitbit app okay this is gonna come up and can you see the Fitbit icon at the top with the battery we're gonna click that and then we're gonna go down to notifications uh, and then where it says text messages see this is what I was referring to earlier you can only select one but with this app here fit notifications you want to select that and I'm gonna click send a message and then I'm going to go back, I'm going to press the back button a few times. Brilliant. So we're back to the screen, we're going to click forward. Select apps. What does that mean? Basically, what apps do you want to get notifications for? So I've got a lot of apps on here. I've got a lot of apps. So um, I select whatever ones I want. So if I wanted, uh, for example, let's go for like WhatsApp. We're just going to click that box there. Um, and say I wanted, I don't know, where's my emails, or Facebook Messenger, wherever it may be, just select those two, then we're going to press the back button again. Alright, we're going to click forward. So now on the screen, the start, the notification listening service. So we're going to click start service. Okay, this is where it gets a bit more complicated, a bit more tricky, but it's no big deal. I'll show you what we need to do. We need to click on extra instructions. So we're going to click on configure. Okay, I'm just really doing this bit here because in order for it to work, there's this new thing we need to do. So we need to go to notifications. We're going to click on the placeholder notifications, the one at the bottom that says hi. Um, so now we need to add a sound. So I'm going to click on sound and choose whatever one you want. Let's go for ding. Sounds wonderful. <laughs> it's not making a noise because my phone's on silent. But anyway, I'm going to go for ding. Next, you have to go on override do not disturb at the bottom, so make sure that is selected. Okay, and we're going to go back up. Right, one thing that I like to do so that the notifications um, don't close due to power saver mode or anything, I like to go on to battery. So, go down to where it says battery on there. Go down to battery optimization. Um, we're just going to go on to the one that says Fitbit notifications, so I'm going to click on that and don't optimize. Keep pressing back a few times till we get on the next screen. We're going to click the arrow again. Uh, done. Test your notification. And if it's all gone to plan, you should have got that received on your Fitbit. Then we return to this screen here and you've got shortcuts to all your apps. Again, if you wanted to select that, you can do the test notification to make sure it's coming through. Um, you can press start interactive setup if you want to do the whole process again, if there's something you miss maybe. Now this may drain your battery, but if notifications are very important, for example getting football scores on your Fitbit, now you may be okay with the battery drain. Um, just to make sure that the notifications definitely come through, what I've done is click on the Fitbit app, go on the Fitbit icon, have all day sync, and then I go down to the bottom and have always connected and keep alive widget. So if I um, go like that, it's not there. When I press select, it shows me that the Fitbit Sync service is it's, it's going, it's going well, it's going very well. So this should hopefully allow notifications to come through on your Fitbit and turn it into a slightly more of a smartwatch. Oh, so one more thing quickly, when you hold down the, um, the button, you have to make sure that its notifications are on, otherwise you won't receive your notifications after all that. Anyway, I hope this video has helped you. Have a great day, everyone. See you later.